hello and welcome to another video again i have changed the um camera angle up i actually quite like it this way because you can see the bunting and let me know what you think as per usual um i also wanted to show you guys my jumper but who knows i'll just show you the top bit for now so basically me and claudia decided that we were going to rip my jeans um, basically I've wanted ripped jeans for a little bit, not a while, I'll say a little bit. I tried someone in Topshop um, uh, like a week ago and I did really like them but I just thought why do I want to spend like £45 on a pair of ripped jeans which are likely to get ripped more in the wash. So um, I went back to uni and I found that I had some old jeans that I didn't actually like where and they are if you want to know what they are they are Dorothy Perkin um jeggings um I've had them for ages and I don't know I just I already have jeggings I just kind of prefer comfy jeans but these ones I don't hardly wear because I have other ones I prefer um unfortunately by halfway through of us actually doing the jeans we realized we probably should have filmed it for you guys but um oh well we'll just talk about it instead so basically if we start off I'll show you what the jeans look like and I'm also either gonna like insert a um, lookbook before or after the video it depends so yeah I'll show you guys these are what they look oh my god okay so now you can see I'm wearing pajama bottoms this is what happens when you film YouTube videos so like this oh la 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 so these are what they look like, ripped on both knees, sort of symmetrical, and I've also frayed the ends as well. So we watched a load of YouTube tutorials on how to do it, and we got little techniques, people were saying use knitting needles, use tweezers, use scissors, like cut on or off. So we decided to do a mixture of all those techniques. This is like our own version. So basically, I just wore them while Claudia cut the initial hole. So we decided that um, to go a little bit above the knee. So I'm talking like, oh, oh, oh. So I'm talking like here. Um, so just after my knee here and just above it here. And you, all you do is you cut a slit and start small at first. And then if you want to, you can sort of like cut it a bit more. Because remember that like the um, hole will get bigger over time anyway. So yeah, so basically, if I just show you, I think this is the first one we did. We just cut a little hole above the knee. The length of this um, hole is about 10 and a half centimeters we cut it. And what we decided to do was because unfortunately, where these are jeggings, it's not like white string. I've only get like black string from these. So we got our tweezers, just normal eyebrow tweezers, and we went round the like edges and we just frayed like little bits off. And basically you get the tweezer and you like pull just little bits of it and it will eventually become frayed and you'll get some like black string come off it as well. I'll do a little demonstration. Obviously you can cut um like it on or off it's just whatever you fancy really but i was still wearing the jeans while we did this so i don't know how i can show you so yeah and you just pull like this pull 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 obviously i don't want to do it too much because we've actually finished these and you pull it and you will eventually get this nice frayed look that's the first bit done and obviously try to do it at well it depends what you want really because you can cut the holes wherever you like but I wanted to have mine like even so I basically just left the jeans on and Claudia cut again <laughs> the hole and I'm not gonna lie it if you want to do it nicely and properly it did take us about an hour and a half to do the whole to do all of this um which I think is pretty good but I would actually say like because me and Claudia had a pair of tweezers each so you know go either side mix it up but it will quicken up the process if you do actually have someone there. And also it's nice because everyone has like their own way of doing it. So um, 
it makes it quite like random and cool. Okay, the other part that I did was cut the ends as well of my jeans. These jeans were so long, they were ridiculous. So I actually cut off this much of the trouser leg, like look how big that is compared to my hand. Like they were so long, they were so long. I didn't, you know, I now know why I didn't wear them before. So I thought I wanted a bit of like an, an, an ankle grazer on the bottom. So what we did this one instead was I rolled up the jeans on me to where I would have like preferred it to be. And then I did with a little marker pen, a tiny dot to like show you where I wanted them cut. So then we took the jeans off this time because obviously you have to like cut round and cutting, trying to get it like perfectly even on a leg is not going to work. So um, we took them off and basically, you know, just got them like that. Cut, 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 cut. Pretty much all you can do. And we were just using normal kitchen scissors as well. So really, you know, nothing to worry about. Um, and yeah, and I would probably say with this one, try to cut it a bit longer at first, just in case you mess up, because you really don't want to be doing that. And once again, you pull. You pull at it, and you pull, and you make whatever you want. And it's actually a lot of fun. I would also say that, um, like, on the bottom, having, like, long black bits doesn't look as nice as it does on the knee. So we actually cut them off in the end. Not too many, but we cut a fair few off. Okay, I'll just quickly show you them again. So, got knees, knees. And then the trousers. Okay, time for a lookbook. Okay. Now I actually got the trousers on. Haha. <laughs> um Okay guys, I'm sorry if that was a bit like of a messy video or whatever. But I, you know, I don't really do this sort of stuff normally. I'm normally just into my knitting. So it was a good chance for me to be creative. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully gives you some tips if you want to make your own jeans. I'm not going to lie, those Dorothy Perkins jeans probably cost me about 10 to £15 pounds originally. And I've literally had them for years. So I can imagine I'm literally saving about £30 from buying Topshop jeans. I really don't think they look that bad, in all honesty, if I can say that myself. So, yes. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a lovely day.